Usually, when the ship separates into three separate parts, the orbital module and the service module separate. The ship behaves pretty well and goes smoothly until entry into the atmosphere. When we started to enter the atmosphere, at that moment in our flight, we could feel some additional jerking and rocking. So I told Yuri, I think maybe we don't have a good separation. Look here. System indicates that the module separated as planned. But he said, no, no, no. But after for a while, Peggy sees something. I mean, I can see it only flames, fires outside. We could see strange changes in the atmosphere. There was some kind of dark blue color that was moving from the top hatch downward and sort of increased rocking on various sides. But I could see part of the habitation module was still burning outside. We were in the wrong orientation, and that caused the ship to burn on the wrong side. We lost communication right away. Because the ship was oriented the wrong way, the antenna, which provided a connection with Earth, burned down completely. And then we have some smoke inside also, not only outside, but also inside. Yeah. I decided we shouldn't rule out a possible fire somewhere, that some electrical units were causing the smoke. We turned off the control panel to see how that affected the smoke whether the smoke would stop or continue. So I could see that there's a frozen tube, metal tube over there. And I told Yuri, Yuri, I think it's not a smoke. It's a maybe a liquid oxygen tube or something like that. And it looks like a smoke, but it's not a smoke. And then he asked me back, are you sure? <laughs> because if it is smoke, turn on the power, make a huge fire again. So he keep asking me, do you really, really sure in the name of your mom, name of your God? And I told, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my PhD working is in a clean room, so we're always working with the liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen. And he said, okay, I, I will trust you, but it's upon our death or life things. And yeah, it was a huge stress. Finally, we figure out uh, oxygen tube was leaking, so it makes a vapor and then it looks like a smoke. And then, the system automatically switched over to descent mode. For me, personally, it was a relief because the process started to resemble what was supposed to be happening. So, when the ship started to rotate, at about that moment, the service module detached. And after that was done, we switched to ballistic descent.